den of the NBA. A report from ESPN's Baxter Holmes reveals Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver is accused of overseeing an organization that many employees have described as toxic and sometimes hostile. Holmes interviewed more than 70 former and current Suns employees who have been part of the team throughout Sarver's 17-year tenure. According to the report, Sarver has used racially insensitive and lewd language repeatedly in the office and displayed conduct employees describe as inappropriate and misogynistic. Multiple current and former employees also told ESPN about conduct by other members of Suns' leadership team that they felt contributed to the work environment. Now, while none said Sarver was involved in those incidents, many felt that Sarver's own conduct contributed to a culture that affected how some other managers within the organization treated their employees. Here's more from Baxter Holmes. The Phoenix Suns, for the first time in 28 years, are going back to the NBA Finals. The Phoenix Suns began this season as defending Western Conference champions. A team riding high with the veteran presence of all-time great Chris Paul, a young star in Devin Booker, a top coach in Monty Williams, and reigning executive of the year, James Jones. But an ESPN investigation has revealed that the Suns' success on the court has emerged alongside a sometimes toxic and hostile workplace under majority owner Robert Sarver. More than 70 current and former employees interviewed by ESPN recounted conduct by Sarver they felt was inappropriate and misogynistic, including the use of the N-word and lewd comments made during staff meetings. Former Suns head coach Earl Watson told ESPN that Sarver once used the slur after a game. You know, why does Draymond Green get to run up the court and say N-word? Sarver, who is white, allegedly said, repeating the N-word several times in a row. You can't say that, Watson, who is black and Hispanic, told Sarver. Why, Sarver replied, Draymond Green says N-word. You can't expletive say that, Watson said again. Sarver denied he used the N-word through his legal team, saying this is absolutely untrue. Sarver said he talked with a Suns player who had received a technical foul during the game for using the N-word, questioning why he had received a technical when other players who say it do not. The player through his speaking to Sarver that night. I've never called anyone or any group of people the N-word, or referred to anyone or any group of people by the N-word, either verbally or in writing. Multiple Suns employees also recounted inappropriate conduct from Sarver, such as him once passing around a picture of his wife in a bikini to employees and speaking about sex with his wife. We're passing it around like a hot potato. Like, what in the hell are we supposed to do with this? That was just, you know, one early glimpse at the man. Sarver, through his legal team, told ESPN the moment has been twisted into something more nefarious than it was and that he has never discussed his sex life in the office. A retailer sent my wife and me a sample along with a brochure and I took a picture of her in the sample. I took the brochure and picture of her and gave it to the people at the Suns in charge of overseeing merchandise with the message, here's the catalog, this is what the swimsuit looks like, and if you have any interest in carrying this line in the team shop, then here's the number to call. Multiple current and former employees also told ESPN about conduct by other members of the Suns' leadership team that they felt contributed to the work environment. While none said Sarver was involved in those incidents, many felt that Sarver's own conduct contributed to a culture that affected how some other managers within the organization treated their employees. They said they don't know how no one has ever been held accountable. If the commissioner comes in and investigates to see what the expletive is going on in Phoenix, he would be appalled. Jason Rowley, president and CEO of the Suns, defended Sarver. This story is completely outrageous and false. It doesn't represent at all the Robert Sarver I've worked alongside of for 15 years. He's not a racist and he's not a sexist. Horrible allegations coming out of Phoenix this morning. You can read more of Baxter Holmes' piece about the Suns organization by going to ESPN.com or the ESPN app as we welcome in Baxter uh, out there in L.A. for us. And Baxter, th this has been a year-long investigation. What more can you tell us about what current and former employees within the Suns organization have shared with you? One of the most striking things that I will carry with me for a long time was how a simple question led to so many 
very disturbing stories. And that question was, for current employees, what is it like working there? And for past employees, what was it like working there? And people would share stories that were so striking and how similar they were for people who had never worked in the same department, maybe were a decade apart, but they would talk about aspects of the culture, conduct by those above them. Uh, you'd hear terms like, you know, certainly racism, misogyny. You'd hear um, terms like uh, verbal abuse, harassment, and so on. And again, from so many levels throughout the organization over such a long period of time, it was really striking how similar these stories were. Yeah, you used the term decade there. That's a, that's a time gap. So what are current and former employees saying about why this behavior has been allowed to continue? This is a huge question. And for as many questions as I've asked, I have to say the current and former staffers have asked me this question perhaps just as much. And it's played out alongside them watching investigations that have taken place into the Dallas Mavericks and their workplace or into uh, the Los Angeles Clippers regarding their owner. Uh, people there have wondered, quite simply, why not us? And I know it said in the TV piece there, a current business employee saying that people, if, if there was an investigation, uh, that the commissioner would be appalled. But there has certainly been this question of where has the failure been? Why has no one investigated, not just saying necessarily the NBA, but anyone? How has this been able to go on for so long without anyone being held to account? Yeah, it, it's worth pointing out, too, the culture right now that you reported on that is reportedly been going on within the Phoenix Suns organization. Back to this is just when the Suns turned from a doormat franchise under Sarver's tenure to now a championship caliber team. How has that culture affected what has been built in Phoenix right now in terms of a basketball team? Well, you mentioned, you know, a year long investigation. And certainly when I started this, the team was, you know, coming off the heels of a 10 year playoff drought, often at the very bottom of the league, picking high in the draft every year. And I was certainly curious with the team's success coming off of the bubble and into the success they had in the postseason reaching the finals, if the culture would change. And quite honestly, I was struck by how current staffers would describe that, in fact, and as, as it's mentioned in the piece, that it's lower than it's ever been because many of these same elements of the culture of the workplace, the behaviors and conduct that they've witnessed and endured are existing while there's excitement around the team. And they're noticing it from fans and others, and yet they're still having to endure what they've endured for many years, as they recall. And the term that so many of them have used is simply, it's bittersweet. Back to, I'm curious, you used a term there when speaking to current staffers. Does that include current players? I can't, I can't speak about uh, some necessarily some of the individuals that I've talked to. I can only really stick to what's in the story. But um, again, I, I would emphasize with respect to the workplace uh, that even as the team was making its run through the playoffs and the finals, hearing what was going on behind the scenes and how people were feeling about it. You know, again, the term bittersweet came up a lot and just that people were not able to feel that they were able to, you know, enjoy in what was a resurgent season after such a long drought for the team. We'll continue to follow this story throughout this edition of Sports Center Breaking just now. And again, to read the full article on the Suns organization, go to ESPN.com or the ESPN app. Baxter. Breaking news out of the NBA here on Sports Center with a report from ESPN's Baxter Holmes. The report focuses on Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver, who is accused of overseeing an organization that many employees have described as toxic and sometimes hostile. Holmes interviewed more than 70 current and former Suns employees who've been part of the team throughout Sarver's 17-year tenure. And according to the report, Sarver has used racially insensitive and lewd language repeatedly in the office and displayed conduct that employees describe as inappropriate and misogynistic. Multiple current and former employees also told ESPN about conduct by other members of the Suns leadership team that they felt contributed to the work environment. While none of them said Sarver was involved in those incidents, many did feel that Sarver's own conduct contributed to a culture that affected how some other managers within the organization treated their employees. In Baxter's piece, the NBA offered this statement in response to the Suns uh, organization, to the reporting on the Suns organization. And this is from NBA spokesperson Mike Bass, who said the league has not, quote, received a complaint of misconduct at the Suns organization through any of our processes, including our confidential workplace misconduct hotline or other correspondence. If the NBA issues a further statement, we will bring it to you here on SportsCenter. Let, let's bring in our insider, Adrian Morjanowski, with more on this because you have to immediately look that, okay, what about past history? What process will the league go through then in determining whether to conduct a further investigation into Baxter's report? Uh, Sage, the expectation now is that the league will launch 
uh, an investigation into uh, the reporting in Baxter Holmes' story. They have yet to do that. They're obviously reviewing the reporting now. And, and then ultimately, I think for the NBA, uh, this could be a lengthy investigation based on uh, cooperation of team employees. There are in the story you know, numerous denials from Robert Sarver about his behavior. Do those denials continue? Mm -hmm. uh, does he have a different conversation with the league? And certainly uh, current and former employees, Baxter's reporting is you know, that there are some initially you know, who are very open to the idea of sitting down with the league and in his reporting, you know, have been waiting for the chance to be able to discuss their experiences in Phoenix with the NBA. And, and again, this, this is just an expansive investigation. 17 years Sarver has been there, but even a, as much of a decade that people are consistently saying this has been going on. So the next question has to be impact, immediate impact and future long-term impact. What can we expect that to be at this early stage, Woj? Well, I think the immediate impact, you know, you start with the reaction of the team and there's there's significant leadership uh, and on that team uh, James Jones as general manager Monty Williams our head coach and Chris Paul you know, the you know, star player in Phoenix you know who was a leader of a Clippers team you know that were part of a, a similar and NBA investigation uh, into Donald Sterling so uh, he has been through this you know uh, James Jones Monty Williams I know that they have talked to their players in the lead up to this story about how they might react, but certainly we'll see how they view things. And then longer term, uh, listen, the Board of Governors, the other uh, NBA owners are certainly going to have opinions uh, about what they see in the piece. And then I think leaning on Adam Silver and the league to conduct an investigation, um, see what they're able to find out additionally, uh, or what's corroborated in the reporting and I think this is a story that's going to be with us for some time, Sage. Uh, it sounds like it. And, and then the immediate domino effect on the players and the coaches who still have jobs to do, right, immediately. And, and for the Phoenix Suns, it begins tonight when they host the Houston Rockets. But again, a developing story with much more to come on this. Woj, thank you. Thanks, Sage. Never at ease. I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream. I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. She lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder. She wrote it. Still up with courage. You're doing a service, pull up to the crib. I'm equipped with the brush strokes. You cut throat from the low low when no love goes. Women buddy buddy like it's been dad. When I fuck me looking at the bill stack. Off the bubbly buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke scream from my chest out. Niggas laced up. I really hate love from a stranger. Shit is fake stuff. Only need it from you. Yeah. Crash land in the palm of my hand. Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast. Carry the torch, I'm way up the slitty wherever we flow. Came from the cold, used to rest on the floor I stitch up my wounds, was born a soldier Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide Hold it down when you talk to me Say it is what it's supposed to be Say it loud, but I mean it to ya Talk that good when you talk to me Say it nice and I give it to you You know my word is bond, yeah What we on, now is wild, shit a trip yeah. Life is slid, take a breath, yeah. that's it it's wild, it's shit a trip Life is litty, it's shit a gift Bitch, I'm him I don't really lack nothing Trip blackfish, hit the splash button Niggas landlocked, too bad for him And he liable to talk, but it's mad rubbish It don't mean nothing From the soil, trying to make it to the top floor But the penthouse, pin gang, something mad guts, bros No sleeping, been a task rabbit Been a lab at it The chief of the tribe I put on for my village Used to be local, I'm taking it global Drop with the focus, she catching the motion Treat that holistic, I give it a physics Fuck your opinion, just did a show Only spit raw material I'm independent, bitch, I'm in the building Look what we build it, it feel like no ceiling We taking it worldwide Hold it down when you talk to me Say it is what it's supposed to be Say it loud, but I mean it to ya Talk that good when you talk to me Say it nice and I give it to you You know my word is bond, yeah What we on now is wild, shit a trip Life is lit, take a breath, that's it Now it's, it's wild, it's shit a trip Life is litty, shit a gift, bitch I'm him